up everybody oh I'm trying to take all the crusties off my lips lips are so dry I am making this new lip product look terrible and it's not due to the product just due to my crusty lips oh anyway so we just did a elf unboxing which was awesome and uh i was and now we're fixing to do the try on portion okay so i don't know what we're gonna do but we're fixing to do it actually another thing i didn't mention in that video i actually bought me this wet and wild translucent um loose setting powder i'm more of a tinted powder type of girl so i don't have any translucent powder but we're trying the new elf putty bronzer and blush and i've never used cream products before but i don't understand i don't understand because i'm gonna go ahead and start doing my makeup here um i don't even know what i'm doing okay anyway so story time i don't i never understood the point of that was my primer i swear all my life i never understood the point of cream blushes and cream bronzers and the reason is they'll put the reason i don't understand is because you see them put them on you see them put powder on and then they'll put on more bronzer or contour and more blush which basically covers up the thing underneath so why wouldn't you just get a powder blush and just do that because that's all you're going to see anyway you don't in my i don't see it underneath anyway so i don't understand so i never got into the trend of cream bronzer and cream blush so I'm actually going to use the, since we're basically doing the full face of e.l.f. right now, like literally, except for the powder, we're going to use the Camo CC Cream. So with that being said, oh, I never got into the trend. However, since the bronzer has come out, I'm really intrigued and really want to try it. But a lot of people, I feel, from what I see, use translucent powder, and it's supposed to be see-through and stuff. I always prefer a tinted powder, personally, but I decided to get a translucent powder to put on top of these cream products to see if... Um, like they see through and then, um, you know, like it better, I guess. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I got the translucent powder put on top because if I'm going to use cream, blush, and bronzer, then that's what I'm going to use and I don't plan on putting stuff on top of it, if that makes any sense. Like if I'm going to put these products on my face, why would I put more bronzer and blush on top of it that's just going to cover it up? Like, I, I don't understand. I'm trying to understand why is this a trend? How does this work? I don't understand. So, that's what we're going to do. We're going to put on our, our cream bronzer. Why do I look extremely pale to you, but not to myself? I don't know. Here we are. So we're going to use, let's see. We're actually going to stick with the theme and use our e.l.f. camo concealer. I'm not going to lie. This is not my favorite. I'm just trying to use these up and I more than likely will not be repurchasing. But I did just see a video of a girl and she was talking about how she uses both of them together instead of just because both of them this one the original dries and cracks and looks matte and it's no this the creamy one it um the hydrating one it 
creases immediately. So, but she uses hers together to come up with a good formula. And I thought, hey, that would be a good idea because this is too creamy and this is too matte. Let's put them together. I actually did it the other day and I actually kind of liked the end result, how it looked. So we're gonna do this again. Of course, I don't plan on having this on too long, but, and I don't know if I like it enough to repurchase, but I like it enough to where I'm gonna do this until both of them are gone. That'll be actually way too much, but I'll use it to spread it on my face. I forget, I'm putting two layers on, which I normally only do one, so I need to go lighter, but I got a little carried away. So we're just using the what's I've put on here to spread around in my areas that I want to conceal, highlight, and all that good stuff. Ooh. Okay, so what we're going to do is after we get this concealer on we're going to do cream bronzer and cream blush and then we'll powder all over the face with our wet well translucent powder and see what it looks like if we like it if we'll ever do it again if we'll never buy it again are we going to be changed throw away all of our powder and buy all cream we're gonna see Fuzzy. My instinct, I want to powder this so bad, but I don't want to. Well, maybe we'll just powder the tiniest bit. Just right up under the eyes, because I really am scared about creasing. You can see this is brand new. I've never used it. I've never used this powder. I've never used a translucent powder. So we're going to tap some of this in the cap. Okay. That's so big. Wow, that's what she said. Okay, we're gonna swirl our little brush in it. And I'm using my really precise powder brush because I just wanna get right up under my eyes. And actually we're gonna do the eyelids too because I always set my eyelids before I go in with um found I mean eyeshadow. Of course I don't know if I'll actually use any eyeshadow or not, but we're not putting the cream products on there. Okay, we're just setting around the eyeballs. Feels good and set. trying to see I've never used this powder for so I was curious I don't feel like it performs any differently I'm already starting to crease a little bit but like I said that concealer is not my favorite either so uh, I always do bronzer first so we're going to go in with the putty bronzer great bronzer so this is the putty bronzer in the shade feeling shady and this is the lightest shade that they have and it's a cool tone. If I like this, I'm going to get the next shade up too, which is more of a bronzy shade. Excuse me. I'm actually going to use this brush. I don't know. This is probably not right, but this is what I have. And this, I usually, I never only use this brush to take like a cream product before that contour. And I'll go down my face and blend with it. So same basically situation. So we're going in there. Here we are we're on the brush you can see and first I'm going to draw like a line where I want it and then try to blend it or maybe we'll try to blend it with a sponge we'll see what happens here Ooh, okay actually I kind of want to do it with a sponge
Did we do anything? Oh, I see it. I do. I see it. I'm just trying to blend it. Because I feel like it's... Okay, I'm not sure. On camera? I don't even see it on camera. I can kind of see it. However, I keep going over it and instead of... I feel like blending, I feel like it's just spreading. There's still... Because I can still see a distinct line. Um, I don't know what to do. Okay, I feel like so far this is not going well. I'm just gonna just be honest here. You can't even see it on camera and I feel like instead of fading and blending and it's just the line just keeps getting bigger because I can still see the direct line where it ends here and the direct line there. Okay. Um, let's try again. A good amount of product. So you can see it. What if, what if, I don't know what I'm doing you guys. Okay, what if I left that there and then just took this sponge and use it this side? <laughs> oh, it was... I had high hopes, you guys. I was like, oh, this is going to be nice. I'm going to fall in love with creams and just be wow. I don't, I don't understand. Okay, you see it. You can see it. Okay. Now, I feel like it disappears into nothing. Or maybe I'm doing it wrong. Or, I mean, technically it's contour. Okay. That's better. I'm just drawing it on haphazardly at this point, so y'all don't judge me. Got it way too close to my mouth now. Okay. I don't know, but it's there. But I mean, it is just supposed to kind of more so define. So what if we just tap it in with this brush? I don't feel like it's doing anything. I don't feel like I'm blending it if I just tap it with this brush. Okay, moving on to the forehead, we're just going to do a line over here. I like this shade though, this would be a good cream, cool tone, um, contour shade, if you know what you're doing. What if we go directly into the sponge, I mean into the product with the sponge? Okay, here's what we're doing. You know, I feel like I've put 15 layers on. I feel like this is working better. I like this better. But keep in mind, you guys, I've never used cream products. I probably put way too much. But here we are. You can see it. I'm trying to make it dramatic. And you can see it. And then just blend. So 
so I feel like so far my, the I'm gonna have to play with this a whole lot and finish it up and see if I actually really don't like it but I feel like we're getting better we're getting better I feel like the sponge is definitely the better way to go we're getting better okay so as of this moment in time I've never played with a cream product before keep that in mind as far as blush and bronzer um, I feel like the sponge is the way to go I did so much better with that I still am not a hundred percent sure if I will this will be a new staple in my collection or not however it um here we are we were here we have it on and um we got it to a good point now here we are to the blush in the shade turks and caicos now this also makes now this makes me want to use the sponge again but we're gonna go in with a brush this is a stippler brush i feel like i've seen people use stippler brushes with these products so we're just gonna go in and try it you can see we're just swirling it in there real good you can see it on the brush okay i want a mirror it's closer to me Don't panic, don't panic. First of all, this shade is very beautiful, but I went very hard with it. Okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like it just took my foundation off. Like I'm trying to think maybe it's cause it's the way it's poking it but I really think it just took the foundation off um cause, yeah that's my skin okay <laughs> this is not going well okay we're going back to the sponge it's literally just oh wait a minute I got a little high because that's getting into where that powder was okay that might not be okay take five let's take this brush again go back in the product where did that powder stop about there we're gonna go a little lighter just tap it in because I did put that might be a powder thing might have got too high where that powder was. Okay. We're still, this is not looking how I feel like it's supposed to. The blush is so much more pigmented or something. I don't know. Okay, this side did better. It's doing that a little bit, but I feel like that's where that powder is. Okay. So I really just don't need to powder This is not going well. Um, I don't know. I feel like I look like a clown. I'm going to powder my whole face with it. Actually, we're going to use this new powder brush from e.l.f. that they sent me as a gift, which was very nice. Okay, here we go with our Wet n Wild translucent setting powder let's see I don't know let's just go and see what it does I don't need a whole lot oh dear lord enough for a whole army Okay, let's evaluate here. Mm 
this looks like a mess, but this might be my fault. You definitely can see the blush through the powder. Mm. I feel like the bronzer basically disappeared. I'm not sure about this, you guys. I'm really not. Okay. Are we going in with lips now? I don't I don't know what to say right now. This is the Seriously Satin Lipstick in the shade Cream. Most people use this as a highlight shade. I'm weird and want to use it as a lip shade because I love light, light nudes. I don't know if this one, this one's a little bit more peachy than I, a little bit more on the peachy side. Like a peachy nude, um, or I just like a plain, straight, neutral, beigey nude. And we're just going to add this little lip gloss on top. cute though this is the this is a free gift an elf retro paradise lip gloss in the shade dream on no it's a dream on lip gloss in the shade strawberry daiquiri excuse me okay um we're gonna go with brows now this is just i don't it's okay there's nothing i can do about it um brows i actually just ordered me the elf brow pencil from Sephora, I mean Sephora from whatever it's Ulta. It's not here yet, so we're gonna use this little eyeliner brush. <clears throat> Let's go in with the light shade first because we can always darken it up with the dark shade. And we're just gonna basically fill it in like I would do with a brow pencil. Take this dark brown on the tail. I've never used a technique like this as far as like powder eyebrow, so we are experimenting today. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure. I'm trying to decide. I feel like... This is pretty intense. I'm just going to use the lighter shade on this side. Maybe I should have just stuck with the taupe shade. For some reason it just looked light online. Why are my eyes burning? It's actually irritated because it's my eyes red. Okay. I don't know. I don't dislike it, but I feel like they look very intense. And I don't know if it's because it's a powder and I'm not used to a powder, or maybe I should have went with the light with a different shade. See, that does not look that dark. That's the light shade, and it, for some reason, looks pretty dramatic. But maybe if I had, like, a full big old 
eyeshadow look it wouldn't look as crazy too um spoolie we'll just have to use the one from the elf one i guess i don't know if i want to mess it up or not let's go in with the brown one because i'm curious i don't know if that was way too much <sighs> got brown product on my nose Oh, it looks like chunks are sticking in it. Okay. Oh, nice chunks. That's... <laughs> um, y'all, this is not my day. This looks even worse. Or darker or something. Okay, I'm going to try to wipe this off. We're going in with the clear side. And we're gonna do this side. I've never used a brow, well, I take that back. I've tried a brow gel. Um, I gave it away because I didn't feel like it did anything or if it did, it didn't make me feel like I needed it. Okay, if I use this, I like the clear better. Um, I don't know, but <laughs> I just don't know. Clean off my spoolie. 30 minute long video. I'm actually getting kind of a little bit <laughs> disappointed. Well, while we're here, I really want to try these blushes. I hope that they save the day. There's like fuzz now in my putty blush. Where's the lid? Because I don't want it to get messy. Okay, so I am going to put these blushes on top of this. So I, don't, I hope it doesn't affect the color too much. Um... Dust this off. First, we're going to go into the shade Always Punchy, which is more of a pink. They do have some kick up in the pan if that is a problem for you. Okay. Now, look at this. We're gonna put always peachy on this side. They definitely make your blush more intense if you wanna look like a clown. Well, I'm not even gonna judge how I like these yet because I know I love this formula and this situation has, I just don't know. I really don't. I. This is actually really sad. I was so excited for this. Well, you have to get these going too. Well, um, I've never felt more ridiculous in my life. We're just going to say that. Um, here's the swatches. Of course, I guess the swatches don't matter now. Okay. The Putty 
bronzer and the putty blush. I think the blush was a very pretty color and I actually think the, the bronzer was a pretty contouring color. I feel like the bronzer for the most part disappeared. I can see them on my neck but that's really it. The blush showed up but it did something funky. I don't know what happened. I think part of this has to do with the powder because I should have just let it go. But um, I'm going to have to play with these some more. I don't know. As of this moment, I will not be a cream girl. Even though as dry skin as I am, I will stick to my powders because I'm not... I'm going to have to play with these some more to get figure out how to use them because I've never used them before. So I can't completely say that they're terrible. If you love cream products, then you should try them. I've never tried cream products, so I don't really know how to use them. So it's not really their fault. Um, but as of right this second, um, I hate to say I don't like them. I just need to play with them some more. Once I use this all up, if I still get this result, I will not be continuing to purchase or any kind of cream products but here's our start and <laughs> here we are now this I think it's cute and I think if you like powder and this that great go for it I might like this better if I had a, a, a different shade but for some reason I feel like this would match me better But we're over here looking crazy. This, no. Um, if you like powder and if you like this wax stuff, I think this would be a great product and travel friendly and easy. And if I got a lighter shade and figured out how to use it maybe correctly, maybe I'd like it better. As in this moment in time, it's kind of eh. This lipstick is cute. Um... Most people are not going to wear this light of a shade, but I'm not like most people. This isn't exactly the shade that I was hoping it would be, but it's still a pretty color. I also got this lip balm, which I did put on in my, um, whatever video. It is the Bite Size Lip Balm in the shade Berry. So it's a very, I've got cream product all in my nails and everything. It's a mauve Berry shade little lip balm um it's short and chunky it does smell like berry it has the tiniest 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 bit of tint to your lips so just something to throw on is nice i do feel like this is messy because like i have thinner lips and so when i go to put this on i have to be careful because i get it all over my mouth or if i try to go inward it goes in my teeth that's the only downside to it um this lip gloss was nice. It literally smells like mint and fruit mixed together. And I've never heard of such a combo, but it was nice. This highlighter is nice. It's not my, they're not my favorite, but these are free gifts with purchase. And so, you know, they're like more subtly and they're very hardly pressed hard formulas. So you have to get them going. But, um, but anyway nice i do love this um blush formula this is not a good representation of i feel like these blushes so i'm going to use these on their own at a later date but i'm sure i will love these i love pink and peachy blushes and this is a completely new shade but just right here i'm not too mad at it um it doesn't look i'm i know 100 percent how it's supposed to but it's something different actually and I'm, I'm excited to see what that looks like by itself. We have the little e.l.f. sharpener with the lid. It's a sharpener. I don't know what to say. I needed a sharpener. What is this? Oh, it has a stick, I guess, to stick in it and clean the junk out. Well, that's nice and helpful. Good job, e.l.f. This is the, okay, so the Wet n Wild Translucent Powder. Um... It actually did not what is on my <laughs> that face looks terrible y'all okay I'm not mad at the powder I've never used translucent powder before but I'm not mad at it it didn't you know nothing crazy awesome looks good we'll be using this some more um uh I don't know 
I don't really know. I know it's supposed to be translucent, whereas the powders I usually get, you have some tint to them. But I don't really see much of a difference at this moment in time. And this seems like it did a nice job and I don't look, and I have dry skin so I don't need a lot of powder, but it seemed, it doesn't look crazy under my eyes. So this is nice. I'm excited to play with that some more. And I got a little free little brush. So, and that was a really nice brush. I liked it. Very soft, very nice. Um, that's everything you guys. I will talk to you guys later. If you have any suggestions on how to help me learn how to use these products, let me know. And anything you want to see from me, just let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for what you're watching. Subscribe to see more from me. And uh, see you next time. <laughs> Bye, everybody.